welcome to my channel so today i wanted to do uh, a reading for you like a general reading and i'm very happy to have you guys connected as always and ready for a new chapter um before i start on on the screen you are going to see my instagram pop up uh, if you have not done so yet please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to my instagram i do post over there additional readings for those of you who are trying to get some uh, readings with the timestamp on it so please feel free to check out my instagram as well all right let's get started what is going on here for my news okay what message what message will be coming through for you let me see and as usual i will do my best to give you the interpretation of the reading all right Leo. okay so leos um fifth in the night well i don't know what the hell is going on but i feel like someone may be part of a gang or someone may be like a fifth or there's someone around you that may have been stealing money from you or there's someone around you that may may have stinky fingers you know but i see something that gotta do with fraud um i see something that gotta do with um dishonesty larceny being sneaky so it's very weird i don't know if this is you if this is something that you have been doing or if this is something that someone around you has been doing but there is a very huge concern over uh the way someone got money the way someone is getting money or um how someone is getting away with something but there's some money here that may have been stolen uh, around you uh, you may also get into a, a feeling that you are losing money or uh, you are you don't have money and you may start to want to take from people you know what they work very hard to get and it's very important for you not to do that very important for you not to do that but there may be some type of difficulties that you will be experiencing in the future and instead of really working hard to make the money that you deserve you're going to start doing things that you are not supposed to do and i feel like this may get you into huge trouble so it's very important for you to be very careful for it um Someone here may need to go to therapy or someone here may need therapy. Especially if you've been robbed or something. Because I feel like either someone set you up for failure or someone did something to you that caused you to have a whole lot of mental issues. And what is going on here is that you've been, you're still traumatized by some type of event that happened. Maybe someone did a pop-up. Someone just popped out of nowhere. Someone popped up in front of your home. Uh, or people kind of like broke into your house. There's something about security. You need to be more careful of the security of your home. The people you let in your house. The people you like to show things around. Like you have to be very careful. Because I see here that you may meet a person very soon and as you are building a connection with the person you are not opening your eyes wide enough to realize that this person is a thief or that this person is part of a gang someone could even be part of some type of cartel something like that so it's very important for you to be very careful about this what i see here is there's some shady dealings going on Someone may even be paying someone under the table or someone may be giving money to someone under the table to get something done. Um, you may get approached by someone who may want you to do something that you don't want to be doing. But 
you have to be very careful when it comes to your whereabouts and when it comes to the people you are talking to um on the other side of it this could also be people spreading rumors rumors about you this could be people talking about you this could be people um spreading rumors and kind of like destroying your image destroying your reputation behind your back um, there's a lot of people who may have been talking and you don't know about it but you have to be careful of who of who you try to call your friends because i feel like you may get into uh a situation where the people you thought were your friends are actually not your friends or uh, someone is going to come up in front of your face to tell you I'm not your friend something like that okay so for some of you you really need to be very careful when it comes to who you let in your proximity or who you like to share things to okay There's going to be some type of transformation though that will happen in your life. Um, I feel like whatever situation you're about to face is going to teach you something new. Um, it's going to be some type of situation that will make you grow up in a certain sense because there's some type of rebirth happening when it comes to your identity, who you are, it's like after you get into some type of troubles where you can no longer get yourself out of, you start transforming. Something is here to teach you a lesson. And um, it's like a lesson that you have to go through by yourself and with no one else. But it's like if you had uh, um, some type of criminal mind in the past, out of nowhere, you will no longer have this type of criminal mind. Um, out of nowhere, you will get transformed. You will start to you will start to be more grateful about the blessings that you already have. You will start to recognize your blessing even more. You will start to move slowly. But someone here needs therapy. Maybe you are trying to seek therapy or you are realizing that you need therapy or people are forcing you to go through therapy. But something may have changed as well uh, when it comes to your demeanor, when it comes to your behavior. People are worried. And if your family members are not even worried about you, it's important for you to start worrying about yourself. Do you still want to do this? Do you still want to be seen as this person that people are lab labeling you to be? You know, someone here needs therapy. Someone here needs to realize that he can have or she can have, um, or she can, he, he can have it, or oh, whatever. Someone here needs to realize that it is possible for you to um, have the life that you want. Okay, it is not that difficult. But you may need to go through therapy. You may need to go through um, a very intense type of coursework in order to get yourself out of some shitty thing that you may have done in the past. Because I see here that a thief is about to get caught. If you've been stealing someone's money, you're about to be caught. If you've been lying, you're about to be caught. If you've been doing, doing something that you are not supposed to do, well, you're about to be caught. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Um, I also feel like someone is scared. Or maybe this is something that already happened. Maybe you already got caught. You got caught in the past. Something scared the shit out of you. Uh, you didn't know what to do. Maybe you were fearful of going to jail. There was some, some type of shit happening. This could even be investigations, but there's some type of shit happening. And what I see here is that Someone needs therapy. Someone needs to. Someone needs therapy. That's what I have to say. Okay. Um. There may also be some type of issues that you could be facing with your home. Maybe you want to relocate or you want to sell your house. 
if you're trying to sell your house, there's going to be someone interested in buying it. This could be a brother of yours or someone who lives like close by or someone who you know who knows someone but if you're trying to sell your house i feel like you would be able to get that money but there could be a situation here that is pushing you to sell your home because you need additional income in order to face some type of um issues that you could be having um if you are also in a situation where you got robbed in the past I feel like time has come for you to relocate. You can no longer live in that house. You can no longer live in that home. Um, if you are a man and then you got robbed, I feel like the person who robbed you is a woman. Someone may have a criminal mindset. You know. But you will find a way to like sell your home and pack up and leave. There's some type of um, there's some type of um, new life that will be coming after a disaster. A new life that will be coming uh, after things go down the hill for you. So let's get let's keep going. Yeah. For others of you, this may even have to do with a child. I don't know if you lost custody of a child or um, if you lost a baby, you lost a child. Someone here may even have to go through some type of... Um, someone lost a child. So this, may, this must have been some type of natural natural abortion you know when you carry a child and then whatever happened and you, you can't carry the, the pregnancy no more something like that but i feel like someone went through that or there's some type of lies regarding um, a child that is about to come out maybe someone has been stealing money from you telling you that she's pregnant and she's not or someone told you that um, she's pregnant of you she has a child with you and you thought she was saying the truth and you may have been paying her to keep her quiet well it was it was not true um, someone has been lying to you I also feel like if you had to break up with a person Whoever you let go of, it was meant for you to let go of that person because since you let that person go, now your life is way better than before. Maybe you, um, maybe you are trying to rebuild yourself financially, or you're trying to rebuild yourself aesthetically, or you're trying to rebuild your image. Something about rebuilding your image, you know. So again, your career may may have went down the hill something something was a loss maybe you are planning on traveling you are planning to go overseas there's some type of international trip that you will be wanting to to make or you will be wanting to take or you could also be dating a new man that lives um at a distance from you and you do want to go and to go see him someone may try to invite you very soon someone wants to invite you to spend some time hmm. i'm going to stop right here i hope you guys enjoyed this reading thank you so much and bye bye